Hi guys, my name is Steven and I'm a fourth year medical student. I just wanted to share this information because I thought third year was a little bit more unclear with which resources would be best in preparation for the shelf. Unlike first and second year where you have, you know, UWorld, first aid, pathoma, it's very clear. But in third year, you kind of have to go and research on your own what are the best. Luckily, you have me who can help you with that, having done all the shelf exams before and doing really well on them, and then taking step 2CK, doing well on that exam as well, I've had time to reflect and think about the resources I used in third year, and which ones were helpful, and which ones weren't. These are the resources that I'd like to share with you that I thought really helped contribute to my success throughout third year. So, let us begin. For all the shelf exams, you should be doing the UWorld questions that is pertinent to that rotation that you are doing so that by the time you've finished third year, you've basically done all the UWorld questions. This will be really beneficial for you for your step 2 CK studying. Just general advice, I would approach third year as basically studying for your step 2 CK exam. The step two CK exam, the way I think about it, is a cumulative exam that covers all the topics and all of your shelf exams. So you wanna be studying with the step two CK a year from now in the back of your mind. But in order to do well in step two CK, you have to do well on the shelf exams. And if you do really well on the shelf exams and still retain what you need before your dedicated study period, for step 2 CK, you should easily crush it because step 2 CK is the questions are generally more broad and big concept, whereas the shelf exams can get pretty nitty gritty because that's all you're studying for those six weeks. So the test takers like to ask more detailed questions. So let us begin. First aid for psychiatry is basically the gold standard for the psychiatry shelf. This plus UWorld and you should easily crush it. I did really, really well on this exam and all I did was read this book and did UWorld. It's very thin and a very easy read. Um, I would give this book four and a half stars out of five for sure. I really liked it and I thought it covered everything you needed. Also, I feel like the psychiatry shelf is passable with just solid step one knowledge from first aid. So this plus UWorld, and you should easily do well on it. Next is ob -Gyn. and again, UWorld is the key, and this book, Case Files, it has about 60 cases with questions at the end, I thought was pretty helpful. Um, of the shelves, I thought the OB one was kind of difficult because a lot of the material is new. It's not like stuff that you're building off of in your first two years of medical school. A lot of it is like algorithm driven. So I had a hard time adjusting, trying to solidify my knowledge on this. But if you use this and you, the UWise app goal questions, which uh, is available online. In addition to UWorld, I think you should do pretty well. Even though this was one of my lower shelf exam scores, I still did pretty well on them. I would give this book three and a half stars out of five. The pediatric shelf exam is, from what I've heard from my peers, is one of the more difficult ones. So I wanted to make sure I was really prepared for it. And I would say that the BRS pediatrics book is really clutch for the shelf exam. The only downside is it's a pretty thick book. It's a lot of pages, but it definitely covers everything you need for the peds shelf. Um, if you read this book and have it solid with your notes, I don't think there will be many questions that you face that you haven't really encountered before. In addition to that, I did the UWorld questions, and then for more question practice, I used the pretest book, which is another 500 questions. With that, I did really well in the pediatrics exam. I would give this book four star out of five, and I would give the pediatrics pretest book. Um, the pretest books are kind of just like extra if you need them, so I'd give it like a three and a half out of five. Next is the family medicine shelf. Also, I heard this shelf was more difficult from my classmates, but I noticed too that there aren't any UWorld questions for the family medicine shelf, which makes it a little bit trickier. So luckily, the AAFP has a question bank that you can use off online, which I used, and it was really helpful. In addition to that, I used case files 
read it and did all the questions at the end of the each chapter and doing that I did really well on the shelf exam as well I would give this book a four out of five it's pretty strong for family medicine so if you do this in the AAFP questions I think you should be fine oh one more thing for the family medicine shelf make sure you look up the USPSTF guidelines rated A and B more focusing on the A if you memorize the screening algorithms such as like at like a 55 year old who's had a 30 pack year history of smoking or has quit within the last 15 years what kind of screening for lung cancer do they get it's a low dose ct of the chest the internal medicine shelf basically you have two resources this book step up to medicine which is the gold standard for i am it's one of the best books i thought throughout uh, my third year. It reads kind of like first aid with the bullet points and uh, a lot of like side margin things, little tips here and there. If you read this and do all the UWorld questions, which is the hard part because there's over a thousand questions, it's half of the UWorld bank, you should crush the shelf. This was my highest shelf exam. I would give this book a four and a half star out of five. The best shelf resource for surgery, hands down, Pistana. It's very thin and very quick of a read, but do not underestimate its high yield potency. This may read casually, but I assure you, a lot of the concepts in here are very high yield that you will definitely need to know that will occur over and over throughout the questions that you do. I would give Pastanas four out of five stars really valuable information that will help you get the right answer on your shelf exam. If you haven't done internal medicine for your surgery shelf, which covers a lot of internal medicine as well, I also read this book, which is called the De Virgilio book, which I researched is kind of like the new book that seems to be on the rise. A lot of students are using it now. It's pretty good. It's very thorough. It covers a lot of internal medicine and surgery. The only downside is it's a really thick book and it's a lot of pages. So I would recommend this book only if you haven't done the internal medicine shelf before. For step 2CK, a lot of people use master the boards. I would give this book a three and a half star out of five. The only downside to this book is that I feel like by the time you're studying for step two, a lot of these concepts are uh, too broad and not detailed enough to be able to answer some of the questions But it is like a good brief overview of the big topics that you should know The only downside to this is a lot of times I found that information in here would contradict some of my shelf book resources So it kind of was a little bit frustrating But it's definitely a good brief overview to pass for sure. But if you wanna really crush the step two CK, the most number one important resource to do well is making sure that you know UWorld really thoroughly. And lastly, as a bonus nugget, what is the best source for step two CS? Well, look no more. First aid US Emily step two CS is the one that the only one that you need to practice for step 2 CS look at a lot of the cases try and practice as many of them as possible with a friend and you should be able to pass really easily and with that thank you very much for listening I wish you all the best of luck in your third year journey and all your shelf exams if you have any questions or want to know anything else just feel free to subscribe or comment below and I'll be sure to get back to you Good luck guys. Peace out. We the best music. Another one.